Today we are going to onboard the logs of Uzu to this Splunk. So here we are installed both the Splunk and uh, Uzu software on Ubuntu single machine. And uh, as we installed both software on single Ubuntu machine, we don't have to install any data forward for this Splunk. And uh, for this uh, uh, log onboarding of Uzu soft, uh, Uzu logs to this Splunk, we have to add a first uh, extension to Uzu extension to this Splunk and uh, in Ubuntu machine we have to create a monitor file for the Uzu and we have to do some uh, configuration changes in that file input dot uh, file and after that we, are, we can able to receive the logs of Uzu to the uh, Splunk so first uh, let us uh, add the extension to the Splunk Select on the manage apps as I have already installed the as I have already downloaded the Uzu extension. So I'm going to select that extension. Let us upload. Okay. Okay. It will take time. Okay. It is uh, downloaded. So it is added. So now we have added the Uzu the Splunk uh, software let us create an index for the Uzu for that we have to go to settings and I have to click on index and after that we have to click on new index just give the name as Uzu because this index we need uh, in uh, Ubuntu machine while uh, creating a monitor file so just click on save it okay so let us create a uh, monitor file by access Ubuntu machine for this we have to get access of Ubuntu machine now I have already taken put the access of my Ubuntu machine and I have already written the command so this is the command which uh, we have to run to mon create a monitor file in Ubuntu machine which will uh, uh, send the logs to this Splunk so after creating uh, index x Vazo, we have to run this command slash uh, opt slash splunk slash bin slash splunk add monitor so we are adding a monitor and this is the path to where we are going to add the uh, monitor file the monitor file name is uh, alerts.json and uh, we are specifying the host as wazoo because we are going to get the logs from wazoo software and index as wazoo we already created this index and source type as wazoo so let us uh, run this command so as you can see the monitor is added selection uh, after entering this command we usually get the uh, authentication we have to uh, enter the username and uh, password for the Splunk because I'm not getting uh, I have already tried uh, two more attempts before this and uh, because uh, I was not created the Wazoo index before uh, entering this command so I have already taken the uh, I have already authenticated myself to Splunk so that's why it, this time it not ask for the uh, for authentication let us go to the directory where uh, the JSON file was created monitor file was created for this we have to change our directory to the slash just copy this okay opt to Splunk slash etc This command now turn the
we have to enter some lines in uh, profs.config file actually I have entered this file let me uh, show the what are so the lines uh, we have to enter this file and after that we have to save this file so that we will get the uh, logs from this, uh, logs from the machine to the Splunk server let us create a Wazoo user which you uh, will going to use on Splunk to log into Wazoo. So click on this drop down button and uh, go to securities and we here we have to create a new user create on user. So we have to username. So I mean you are creating a new user as uh, Wazoo one and uh, I am using same password so that I can So I am giving the administrator role The reason why we are not able to save the API because uh, we had the API version app version in the Ubuntu was the 4.3.5 and our API version is 4.3.8 so the, this uh, this was the reason we are, we are not able to uh, add the API and I have changed this version uh, in Ubuntu so let me show you what are the commands I have used so you have to change directory to the this uh, Splunk for Wazoo default directory. So in this we have to enter this command to open this uh, app configuration file and in version we have to edit it to 4.3.5 from 4.3.5 to 4.3.8 we have to edit this uh, version 
and after that we have to save this file and uh, after editing the file we can able to add the api let me show you how to added the api so this is the api which i have added and uh, i have used the uh, user id and uh, password which i have created in the web ui before this so i have used that user id and password and the, this is the url which i have added and uh, api port number is double five triple zero user as wazoo api one which i have already created once again so by this we can add the api to the splunk 